Hey, this is John Siskovich with Farm Marketing Solutions, and there's two things I want to discuss today about selling at farmer's markets, advice for selling at farmer's markets. And this is definitely something I've done extensive research on, uh, visiting farms across the country, farmer's markets across the country, and selling at them myself as a farmer. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is visualizations. People buy with their eyes first. They eat with their eyes first. Food is a very visual thing, especially this day and age where stuff, you know, food network and everything else is trending up where uh, I have no, I don't know how to explain it other than food porn is that, you know, food photography, beautiful dishes, why chefs have, make such an emphasis on presentation. It should be no different for your farm marketers, farm market stand, you know, have clean setup, really good flow, <clears throat> present the best product you can, make a beautiful stack of whatever it is you're selling, uh, use burlap uh, on the table to make it a little more homey or have a, a tablecloth, don't just have a bare table, make it visually appealing. Uh, that goes for yourself as well. Uh, I know you might want to present the, the image of the country bumpkin farmer that, you know, a dirty shirt, you know, I just came out of the fields and that works for some people, but to an extent, uh, the more popular farmers I found have this kind of like farmer chic look. Uh, I'm attempting at my farmer chic look with my, my, my collared shirt here and I'll be wearing collared shirts at my farmer's market, but whether you wear a collared shirt or something else, just make sure it's clean. You know, your appearance is clean, you're trimmed, uh, your hair is not all crazy. People are buying you and your product. So have a beautiful looking booth with a good looking person on it. Uh, it really doesn't hurt. It sounds a little shallow, but that's the general, um, you know, I don't know, psychosis of people. <laughs> that, that's the psychology of people. <clears throat> um, one of the other things is signage. Uh, if you are under the, the assumption that if you know you have a product and it's beautiful, it'll sell itself. Yeah, maybe to an extent, but having better looking signs, clear signs that say, this is what it is. This is what you can do with it. This is how much it costs, clear labels. And if your costs change from week to week, uh, make out a label on a piece of paper write what it is and leave a blank area, laminate it and use dry erase markers and do it that way or have note cards. Uh, one of my favorites are, but you buy paint that's chalk paint and cut out little pieces of masonite, uh, paint the chalk paint, write what it is and what the price is. And you can change that on the fly, on the go. All you need is, you know, a wet rag for an eraser and a piece of chalk and there's your signage for you, but make them clear. Uh, one of the other really successful things that I've seen across the country is people who do recipe ideas. Even just as simple as this is cilantro, it's good in salsa and, you know, put it right next to the tomatoes if they're both in season at the same time. But give people an idea of what you can do with it. You know, butternut squash, cut it in half and roast it with some olive oil and butter and, or no, some butter and salt and pepper. Really simple directions. It doesn't have to say cut in half lengthwise, up into 350 degrees. It can be really simple and if they want more details, that's where you come in and talk about it. Uh, but having clear, beautiful signage and if you're not an artist, find somebody who is. Uh, because, you know, exchange for some produce or whatever farm product you have and find somebody to make you beautiful signs because that, you know, one exchange of some produce, some extra vegetables for clear signs can last you for a really long time and be very helpful and you'll see an increase in sales for sure. The second thing that I wanted to talk about was creating a system. And now people, when they, you know, they're buying with their eyes, they also love, you know, a system, things to be the same every time they come there. They want to see, that's, that's why our food system is the way it is right now. There's a consistency. Our meat is always on a styrofoam tray, neatly racked on the racks at, you know, whatever supermarket it is. Or if you go to a certain restaurant, they greet you the same way. They're wearing the same clothes. You can go there because you're getting consistent service. And that's something you should strive for at a farmer's market as well. And developing those systems will help you get people through the lines a lot quicker, which will make people more apt to come to you. You know, if you got a line and uh, you could have the best product in the world, but as people know, they have to wait for a long time every time, they'll start to skip over you, uh, which then you'll see a decline in numbers. So you want a way to get people in and out. And if they want to talk to you, that's great. Uh, but you should have a way of dealing with customers while you're carrying that conversation on. 
And so what I suggest and something that I've done with, you know, many project projects that I've done with business, with my own farming, start from beginning to end and create a operations manual. Uh, now it sounds like a dry, terrible name, but really work out what steps, you know, from the, you know, you have the trays harvested and you're packing the truck, uh, how you pack the truck, take pictures, put it in your operations manual. Um, what routes you take driving, how you set up, what do you do from first to last to make it the most efficient as possible, really break down the steps. Uh, how do you greet customers? What are you wearing? Uh, what do you say to them? How do you go from, you know, somebody being interested in something and saying, you know, they're, they're take the money out, hand it to you. You take the money and break down those steps on what exactly is going to happen. Memorize that entire process. So that become automatic. And because you've written it down and taken pictures and cataloged it, if you have new interns every year or if you have fired, or fired, hired farm help uh, or volunteers, you can say, this is exactly what we do. And whether you hand them the manual, which I suggest, or you just articulate it itself, you have a system worked out that is working for you instead of you working on it, you know? You're not spending time figuring it out every single time and adjusting. You're spending time, you know, building your business and growing and that system is already set up and because it's a system and it's the same way every time people are going to flock to that they're going to love it it's going to be very successful it's going to be a very useful tool for you not only for managing apprentices and interns and hired help but in growing your business and increasing sales at the farmers market because they'll see you as clean visually appealing and you have a system that makes you very efficient and you have the same thing every time you know always have consistent product consistent service and you'll have consistent success. This is the word I'm looking for. So I hope this video helps you out a lot. Uh, I know, you know, it's based on stuff that I've done in the past and com you know, countless conversations I've had with farmers about marketing at the farm and I hope it really helps. So if you'd like any more useful information, if you want to hear the weekly podcast, uh, or if you want to just stop by and say hi, website is farmmarketingsolutions.com. Thank you so much.